In 1971, one Roy Simmons begat another, as Roy Jr. took over for his Hall of Fame father. But before his own legendary success, growing pains. In the first few years of Roy Jr.'s career, the university cut a large portion of funding for the lacrosse program. Left without any scholarships in the early 70s, beginning in 1973, the Orange suffered three straight losing seasons for the only time in program history. In 1976, building blocks arrived in the form of midfielder Kevin Donahue and defenseman John Desco. After winning seasons in 76 and 77 and a 10-win spring in 1978, the 1979 Orange made their first ever NCAA tournament appearance, a year that also saw current assistant Kevin Donahue named as Roy Jr.'s first first-team All-American. In 1980, led by another first-team All-American, Tim O'Hara, Syracuse made the Final Four, the first of an eventual 17 semifinal appearances under Simmons Jr. Then, in 1981, the game changed forever with the opening of the Carrier Dome, a building that over the last 35 years has seen the Orange win a staggering 87% of their games. The first 12 years of the Roy Simmons Jr. era set the foundation, but little did anyone know, Syracuse was about to take over college lacrosse.